Hello, this tutorial will be a quick tour of our EBSCO collection of databases here at Baptist Bible College and Seminary. These databases are accessed through the library website where we're at right now. This is the main library webpage. These databases are available to all BBCNS students as well as college and seminary employees. To get to the databases, we're going to click Database, that link here on the left-hand side of the page, and we'll select the first entry, Database List. This provides us a list of all the databases available to uh, students of Baptist Bible College and Seminary. Go ahead and select EBSCO. Now on this screen, if you're accessing these databases from off campus, you'll be asked for a username and password before proceeding any further. Uh, these usernames and passwords are available to you. If you're a registered current student of Baptist Bible College and Seminary, contact the library staff if you need a username and password. Go ahead and select All Databases. And this loads the main search screen. As you can see, this bears some similarity to Google, Yahoo, Bing, or a search screen for one of the major search engines. Let's go ahead and run a search for postmodernism. And you can see that 14,000 some items were returned. That's a lot of items to sort through, so let's narrow that down a little bit. Now, some of these results will be uh, abstract only or citation only results. So we're going to click full text right here that will limit our results to full text only, meaning the full text of the article is available. And we're going to change the date range to select only articles that have been published more recently. EBSCO is primarily a collection of journal articles, although there are some um, material from other sources available as well. And you can see we're down to 1,600 items now. Now this is our results list right here. Everything is sorted by relevance. We'll go ahead and select article number two. Assume that will be one and that might be useful to us. And you can see there's a number of hyperlinked terms right here. Click on any one of these items. We'll run a search for that item. By clicking on the subject terms to run searches, this can be an effective way of expanding uh, your searching. Over on the right-hand side of the page, we have a series of icons. Uh, these allow us to print, email, or save this document, we'll print off the full text copy, or save a copy, or even email it to ourselves. And here there's another little feature. This is the cite icon. This is a very useful tool. It brings up the citation uh, for this article in a variety of different style guides. Simply copying and pasting this, you can put this into your works cited list, and you have the beginnings of a bibliography. There's also the folder. By adding the item to the folder, it's put in a temporary storage spot where I can uh, go look at this item. It's saved there while I run other searches. Or if I choose, I can sign in, create a user account with EBSCO, and then my folder will become per permanent. And uh, anything that I save to the folder will be stored there uh, as long as I'm signed in. Back here at our detailed results list, there's also a link to the PDF full text of this document. Let's go ahead and click on that. And you can see that uh, the PDF full text looks like an exact scan of the hard copy of this journal. We've even got the uh, bibliographic information that's at the bottom of the page of the paper copy of this article. All right, that concludes our quick tour of EBSCO.